All right, so let's go over how to link two things in Avid. Traditionally, what we've done here is we've just drug stuff over into our bin and let it import. Um, you know, we're in a network environment where with multiple edit bays where we want to see whatever we're bringing in across the whole network, not just at this one station. So importing is the correct way of doing that. However, there's times when we're in a time crunch where we have five minutes before our show and we don't have time to drag this over and let it turn for several minutes. So we can do something called linking to that video. So uh, what you do, you come to your bin and you right click, go to input, source browser, and it pulls up this window here. Okay, uh, it may show up like this. So I want you to ignore the left hand side. This is just a tree showing you the pathway, okay? When we want to step into things, we want to do it on the right hand side, okay? So I'm going to step into that. I'm going to come down and find the video I want traveling with guns. That's the one I want. And make sure it says link here, not import, and you hit link. Looks like nothing happened here because there was no think time, but it's actually already put it up here in the bin. Watch this, I'll just link this other one. Boom, it's there instantly. Okay, so I can just close out of this and I have all the stuff I need to edit with Back right your gun. here. Okay, so now I could, if I had five minutes till show, I've linked to it, I drop it down, I send it to playback, and I'm ready to go. Now, because we are in a network environment, after you've made your time slot, after you made the show, now you need to come back and import it um, so it is there for everyone else to see in the future.